How many of you have the ICOM IC7300 and when you key up and uh, calling CQ or having a rag chew, you always seem to hear the fan behind the radio spool up just like this. Yeah, it gets very annoying. So I have a solution for you. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. My solution is to replace the fan with this. It's a Noctua NF-A8PWM Cron Max fan. It's 80 millimeters. So I bought this fan on Amazon and it's less than $20. Bear in mind, when you do this modification, you will void your warranty on your ICOM radio. And also do this at your own risk. When you open up the box, it comes with the fan itself and it also comes with an extension cable which we probably won't need and various colors for the anti-vibration mount yeah red white black blue green and yellow okay first thing we're going to do we're going to remove 10 Phillips head screws with the radio upside down. Here I go. There's the inside. You see that red and black wire? That's your positive and negative. So we're going to follow that along the top. And there, it's where it's connected. So we're going to remove that. And we're gonna remove these four screws and pull the fan out. It just pulled it straight up. Okay, now we're just going to pull the fan out from its housing and the wires. Keep note, we are placing this fan upside down right now because the radio is upside down. And the key thing to note as we turn around the airflow. Can you see the arrow right there? That's the airflow. So the air is actually going out from the radio itself. So when we mount the other fan, the routing hole is in this direction. So we need to make sure that this top, it's somewhere here on this corner and look for the airflow. You see the arrow? It's going to mount just like that inside. Okay, this is going to avoid the warranty now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip 
these wires right here. Okay. Okay. Look at all these wires. They're all the same color black. There's no instructions on the box that tells you which is positive, which is negative. So special thanks to YouTube channel More Jello, please. He points out if you look closely, you will see a number one on this area. So I'm going to twist it so you can see it. You see the one? Number one is negative. The next wire to that is number two and that's going to be the positive. So one is negative, two is positive. I'm going to work on the uh, negative. Let me see if I can remove that. I have a small little flat tip screwdriver for computers. I'm going to put that in there, in the hole, and pull that wire. It's going to be tough. There. Did you see what I just did? I put a small screw flat tip in the grooves, pushed it while pulling at the same time and it comes out. So I'm going to work on one at a time so I don't cross these wires. I'm going to solder them together. Since that's negative, I'm going to solder the negative together. All right, I finished soldering. I just, those extra two wires, not the positive and negative, I just um, separated those and uh, put some electrical tape. I have electrical tape and also some heat shrink. I didn't have a small enough heat shrink, so that's why I put electrical tape first. All right, so what I did was I routed it through one of those holes in the bottom. Remember the airflow. You see the arrow? That's the airflow. Remember the unit's upside down so the wording is going to be upside down. So I'm going to now, I'm going to first add those isolation pads and then mount the fan onto the radio. I'm going to use black. So it's really easy to put in. Okay, you got the holes. Just put them in there. Just like that. Looks like it just snaps in. Do that for all eight corners. Okay, I got one more to do. And um, because I'm using one of those holes already, I'm going to cut uh, a piece out so it would fit on that corner. Okay, this is the last one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right here because I don't need that anymore. All right, we cut that out. Now I should fit only one hole. And it's just like that. Fair enough. Okay, now to route the fan back in its place. All right, now I'm ready to put the fan back. We're gonna do this in reverse order first. Let's route the fan 
wire through. Okay, I have enough slack and I'm going to screw in these four screws. Remember the airflow? It's flowing outside. It's going in this direction. Just going to be nice and snug, not too tight. Okay, that's good. Now it's time to route the wire. So we route the wire through here. That's where the fan's located on this side. And it's going to be connected here. On the top, there's a groove section, and that's going to fit in that slot, just like that. And then just tuck the wires down inside. So there it is, the fan, the connections here, the wires that going through there, and here. All right, now we're going to mount the lid back on. All 10 screws. Voila, it's done. Let's reconnect it and let's test operate the fan operations. Okay, the fan is all put back together. Power and coax and the ground. And we're gonna test the fan. Okay, it's, it's dead quiet, and I'm gonna feel for the uh, fan. It should blow out, outwards. Yes, I feel the fan. It's working, and it's working well. I'm gonna show you from the back. Okay, I have the lapel mic here, I'm holding it and I'm going to put it next to the uh, fan. Okay, it seems to be working. I hardly hear it, but I feel the fan blowing. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed my video. It's like a tutorial on how to replace your, your cooling fan on the ICOM IC7300. If you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please do consider to subscribe. It gives me more motivation to make more videos for amateur radio and you guys. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Until next video, have a great day and stay safe. See ya.